Have you ever looked up at the moon and wondered what lies on its unseen side? The moon's far side, often mistakenly called the dark side, despite receiving just as much sunlight as the side facing Earth, has been a subject of fascination and mystery for centuries. It wasn't until 1959 when the Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft sent back the first images of this hidden hemisphere that we got our first glimpse of what was there. This side of the moon is markedly different from the one we see. It's rugged, densely cratered and lacks the large, dark basaltic plains, or Maria that are so prominent on the near side. The moon's far side, largely hidden from the Earth, has been a fertile ground for conspiracy theories and wild speculations, largely because of its relative mystery and inaccessibility. One of the most persistent theories is that the far side of the moon harbors evidence of extraterrestrial life or even alien bases. This theory gained traction in part due to the lack of detailed imagery of this lunar region until the latter part of the 20th century, allowing imagination to fill in the gaps in knowledge. Some conspiracy theorists argue that structures visible in photographs from lunar missions are artificial, perhaps remnants of an ancient alien civilization. They often point to certain features that appear unnatural or too geometrically regular to be the result of natural processes. These claims, however, are typically based on misinterpretations of low-resolution images, where pareidolia, the human tendency to see recognizable shapes in random patterns, often comes into play. Another popular theory posits that the Moon, particularly its far side, is a strategic observational post for extraterrestrial spacecraft monitoring Earth. Proponents of this theory often cite unexplained anomalies in radio communications experienced by Apollo astronauts when they orbited the Moon's far side, suggesting these were attempts at alien contact or interference. However, experts explain that these anomalies were more likely due to technical issues with radio equipment or natural interference from the lunar environment. The idea of an alien base on the far side of the Moon was further fueled by the mysterious termination of the Apollo program. Some theorists believe that astronauts encountered signs of alien life during their missions, leading to a hasty and secretive end to lunar exploration. They suggest that subsequent missions and satellite imagery of the Moon have been doctored or withheld from the public to hide these facts. However, historical records and testimonies from those involved in the Apollo program paint a different picture, attributing the program's end to budgetary constraints and shifting governmental priorities. There are also claims that certain craters and other geological formations on the far side are perfectly shaped or positioned in ways that defy natural explanation, suggesting they are either alien-made or hold some form of hidden message or technology. These claims, however, lack substantial evidence and are generally dismissed by the scientific community. Despite these conspiracy theories, scientific missions and studies have consistently supported natural explanations for the features observed on the Moon's far side. High-resolution images and data from various lunar missions, including recent ones like the Chinese Chang-4 mission, have provided detailed insights into the Moon's geology, all pointing to natural formations and processes. The far side of the Moon, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, presents a landscape strikingly different from the familiar face that greets us each night. This hidden hemisphere of the Moon, first revealed in detail by the Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft in 1959, is a tapestry of craters, mountains and highlands, a stark contrast to the Maria-dominated near side. One of the most striking features of the Moon's far side is its rugged terrain. This side of the moon is heavily cratered and has fewer of the smooth, dark basaltic plains or maria that are so prominent on the near side. The absence of extensive maria on the far side has led scientists to surmise that the crust there is thicker, making it less susceptible to volcanic activity that formed the maria. This difference in crustal thickness is thought to be a relic of the moon's formation and early history. When the moon was forming and still molten, heavier elements sank to its center creating a denser mantle and crust on the side facing Earth. The most prominent feature on the far side of the Moon is the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system. Measuring about 2,500 kilometers in diameter and about 13 kilometers deep, this colossal crater provides valuable insights into the Moon's geological history. Studies of the basin have revealed unusual mineral compositions, suggesting that the impact might have been so powerful that it penetrated through the crust and into the mantle. 
This has significant implications as it offers a rare opportunity to study the Moon's interior composition. The lunar far side also hosts several other notable features, such as the Tsiolkovsky crater, named after the Russian space pioneer. This crater, with its complex structure and distinctive dark halo, is a subject of intense scientific interest. The halo is believed to be a result of volcanic activity, indicating that the far side of the moon was not always geologically inactive. Another intriguing aspect of the far side is the lunar highlands, an extensive area covered with peaks and valleys. The highlands are composed predominantly of anorthosite, a type of rock formed from magma. These rocks are lighter in color and older than the basaltic rocks that filled the Maria, providing a window into the moon's past. The highlands are pockmarked with craters, each telling a story of the moon's long history of cosmic bombardment. The far side of the moon also has fewer mascons, or mass concentrations, which are large areas of dense material sitting beneath the surface. Mascons are responsible for the gravitational anomalies that affect the orbits of spacecraft around the moon. Their scarcity on the far side further underscores the dichotomy between the two hemispheres of our lunar neighbor. The scientific exploration of the Moon's far side, a region untouched by direct sunlight for centuries, has been a subject of immense interest and curiosity within the scientific community. This interest intensified following the historic moment in 1959, when the Soviet Luna 3 spacecraft first captured images of this mysterious lunar hemisphere. These images revealed a terrain vastly different from the familiar near side, with a lack of large maria and an abundance of craters, igniting a desire to learn more about this uncharted territory. One of the most significant breakthroughs in the exploration of the Moon's far side came with NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, launched in 2009. The LRO's mission, among other objectives, included mapping the Moon's surface in unprecedented detail, providing scientists with critical data about its topography, temperature and mineral composition. This data has been instrumental in enhancing our understanding of the Moon's geological history and has helped identify potential landing sites for future missions. The Chinese Chang'e 4 mission, which landed on the Moon's far side in January 2019, marked a new chapter in lunar exploration. This mission, which included the U-22 rover, was the first to perform a soft landing on this part of the Moon, achieving what had been a long-standing objective for space explorers. One of the key scientific goals of Chang'e 4 is to analyze the chemical composition of the lunar surface, particularly in the South Pole Aitken Basin, a vast impact crater that could offer clues about the Moon's early history and its crust's composition. Chang'e 4 also carries instruments to conduct low-frequency radio astronomical observations. The far side of the Moon is an ideal location for these observations due to its shielding from the Earth's electromagnetic noise, this makes it a perfect spot to study the space environment and solar bursts, and potentially to observe the early stages of the universe, free from the interference experienced on Earth. In addition to these missions, there are also proposals for building robotic and human bases on the far side of the Moon. These bases could serve as crucial steps in deep space exploration, including manned missions to Mars and beyond. The Far Side's unique geology offers opportunities for extensive scientific research, including the study of the Moon's tectonic activity and the testing of new space technologies in a challenging environment. Furthermore, the exploration of the Moon's Far Side could play a vital role in understanding the dynamics of Earth-Moon interactions. Studies of the Moon's crust and mantle on this side can provide insights into the thermal evolution of the Moon and its orbital dynamics, which in turn can shed light on Earth's geological history and the conditions that led to life on our planet. The far side of the Moon, often overlooked in favor of its more familiar counterpart, holds immense strategic significance for both scientific and exploratory missions in space. One of the key factors contributing to its importance is the unique radio silence it offers. Shielded from the Earth's electromagnetic interference, the Moon's far side presents an ideal location for deep space radio observatories. The absence of Earth-originated radio noise provides a pristine environment to study the universe in the radio spectrum, allowing astronomers to detect faint signals from the distant cosmos that would be lost in the cacophony of Earth's radio emissions. This radio silence opens up possibilities for studying phenomena, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation 
and searching for signals from the early universe. It could also enhance the search for extraterrestrial intelligence by providing a clearer view of the cosmos, free from the clutter of human-made signals. Establishing radio observatories here could lead to groundbreaking discoveries in astrophysics, giving us insights into the formation of the first stars and galaxies, the nature of dark energy, and the evolution of the universe. Another aspect of the far side's strategic importance is its geology. The South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest known impact structures in the solar system, is located here. This basin is believed to have exposed the lunar mantle and could contain rocks with a different composition than those found on the near side. Exploring this basin could yield valuable information about the moon's formation and its geological history, which in turn could shed light on Earth's early history and the conditions that led to life on our planet. Furthermore, the far side of the moon is of interest for future manned lunar missions and potential permanent bases. The challenges posed by its rugged terrain and the lack of direct communication with Earth make it an ideal testbed for technologies that could be used for long-duration space missions, including those to Mars. The isolation provides an opportunity to develop and test life support systems, habitats and other technologies in an environment that closely mimics deep space conditions. In addition, the Moon's far side holds potential for resource exploitation. The discovery of water ice in permanently shadowed craters, particularly near the lunar south pole, is of great interest. Water is not only vital for supporting life, but can also be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, providing fuel and breathable air for astronauts. The ability to utilize these resources on site could be crucial for the sustainability of long-term lunar bases and for future deep space exploration missions. The strategic importance of the Moon's far side extends to its potential as a stepping stone in human space exploration. Establishing a presence here could serve as a springboard for missions further into the solar system. The experience gained in operating in this remote and challenging environment would provide invaluable knowledge and skills for future exploration endeavors. Where could aliens be hiding on our very own planet Earth? It's a question that has fascinated scientists, conspiracy theorists, and curious minds alike for decades. If extraterrestrial beings have indeed visited our planet, where have they managed to conceal themselves from our prying eyes? Let's embark on a journey through the depths of the oceans, traverse the dark side of the moon, float among the clouds, camouflage in the desert, explore the tallest mountains, and delve into areas riddled with anomalies to uncover the possible hideouts of alien life. Diving deeper into the mysteries of our planet, we explore the vast, uncharted territories of the deep sea. It's a world of extreme conditions, with crushing pressures, frigid temperatures, and total darkness. Yet despite these harsh environments, life has found a way to thrive, adapting in the most astonishing ways. But could there be more to these dark, silent depths than meets the eye? Could extraterrestrial beings find refuge in the secluded sanctuaries of our oceans? The deep sea remains one of the least explored areas on Earth, with scientists estimating that up to 95% of the ocean floor remains unseen by human eyes. This vast hidden expanse provides an ideal location for aliens to hide, away from the prying eyes of humanity. The incredible depths and pressures of the deep sea would pose significant challenges to exploration, ensuring privacy and secrecy for any extraterrestrial activities taking place beneath the waves. Moreover, the deep sea is home to some of the most bizarre and alien-like creatures on Earth. From bioluminescent jellyfish to gigantic squid, these creatures have developed unique adaptations to survive in their extreme environments. This biodiversity could be of particular interest to extraterrestrial beings. Studying these life forms to better understand the limits of biological adaptation, and perhaps even to glean insights for their own survival on other planets. Adding to the allure of the deep sea as a potential alien hideout are the numerous underwater anomalies that have been discovered over the years. Sunken structures, mysterious formations and unexplained phenomena have all been documented, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories about extraterrestrial involvement. Some believe that these anomalies are evidence of ancient alien civilizations, while others suggest that they could be contemporary bases hidden away from the surface world. Venturing beyond our own planet, we turn our gaze to the Moon, Earth's closest celestial neighbor. For centuries, the Moon has captivated our imaginations, inspiring myths, legends, and scientific inquiry. But it is the Moon's dark side, 
the side perpetually turned away from Earth that holds the most intrigue and mystery. Could this hidden hemisphere be a secret refuge for extraterrestrial beings? The dark side of the moon is shrouded in mystery, with its rugged terrain, deep craters and towering mountains. It provides a stark contrast to the familiar face of the moon that we see from Earth. This hidden landscape offers numerous hiding spots for extraterrestrial beings, away from the scrutiny of telescopes and spacecraft. Furthermore, the moon's lack of atmosphere and harsh conditions would make it an unlikely place for humans to stumble upon an alien hideout. The extreme temperatures, radiation exposure, and lack of breathable air create a natural barrier, deterring human exploration and maintaining the moon's secrecy. Despite its inhospitable conditions, the moon holds a strategic position in our solar system. Its proximity to Earth makes it an ideal location for observing and studying our planet, while its distance provides a level of security and isolation. Extraterrestrial beings could utilize the moon as a base of operations, conducting research, gathering resources, or even using it as a staging ground for further exploration into the depths of space. Adding to the allure of the moon as a potential alien hideaway are the numerous anomalies and unexplained phenomena that have been observed and documented. From strange lights and flashes to irregular structures and formations, these mysteries have fueled speculation and conspiracy theories for decades. Some believe that these anomalies are evidence of extraterrestrial activity, while others suggest that they could be natural occurrences, misunderstood due to our limited knowledge of the lunar environment. Now let's cast our eyes upward, beyond the boundaries of land and sea, and delve into the boundless expanse of the sky. The clouds, with their ever-changing shapes and sizes, provide a mesmerizing and, possibly, an ideal hiding place for extraterrestrial beings. Imagine beings or even entire ships concealed among the clouds, observing us from a safe distance completely undetected. The idea might sound like something straight out of a science fiction novel, yet when we think about it, the sky is vast and often goes unobserved. Most of us only take a passing glance at the sky, unaware of its potential secrets. Clouds can cover entire cities, and their thickness can make them impenetrable to the human eye. It's within this shroud of mystery that aliens could find the perfect camouflage. Moreover, there are phenomena in the sky that we still don't fully understand, such as ball lightning, strange cloud formations, and unexplained lights. These anomalies have, on numerous occasions, been linked to potential extraterrestrial activity. Could it be that these unexplained phenomena are actually signs of alien life hiding in plain sight? On top of that, there have been countless reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, emerging from or disappearing into clouds. These accounts, coming from people from all walks of life, including reputable pilots and astronauts, add an intriguing layer to the theory of extraterrestrial beings using clouds as cover. Turning our attention back to Earth, we find ourselves amidst the vast and arid expanse of the desert. With its extreme temperatures, scarce water supply and harsh living conditions, the desert might seem like an unlikely place to find extraterrestrial life. However, it is precisely these harsh conditions that could make the desert an ideal hiding spot for aliens. Deserts cover about one-third of the Earth's land surface, providing a vast area for potential extraterrestrial activity to go unnoticed. The desolation and lack of human presence in these areas offer a level of seclusion that is hard to find in other habitats. The ever-shifting sands of the desert can conceal anything beneath them in a matter of minutes, making it an excellent location for aliens to hide their bases or technology. These hidden sites could serve as observation posts, research facilities, or even shelters for extraterrestrial beings studying Earth. Additionally, deserts are home to a plethora of mirages and optical illusions caused by the bending of light rays in the hot air. These illusions could serve as a natural form of camouflage for extraterrestrial beings, allowing them to hide in plain sight. Adding to the mystery are the numerous unexplained phenomena and anomalies associated with deserts around the world. From the mysterious moving rocks of Death Valley to the unexplained structures visible in satellite imagery, these have baffled scientists and researchers for decades. Could these phenomena be linked to extraterrestrial activity hidden beneath the sands or disguised as natural features of the landscape? Venturing into the towering realms of the world's mountain ranges, we find landscapes teeming with mystery and seclusion. The rugged terrains and harsh climates of these areas have long deterred human intrusion. 
making them an intriguing prospect for potential extraterrestrial hideouts. Think about it, the vast stretches of uninhabited land, coupled with the natural shielding provided by the mountains, create an almost impenetrable fortress. Stories and legends of unexplained phenomena in mountainous regions are as old as time itself. From the Himalayas to the Andes, people have reported sightings of strange lights, unidentified flying objects, and even encounters with beings not of this world. These accounts, often dismissed as folklore, hold a persistent place in the cultural tapestry of these regions, suggesting that there may be more to these mountains than meets the eye. Moreover, the mountain ranges are riddled with caves and underground passages, some of which have yet to be fully explored. These hidden crevices provide ample opportunity for extraterrestrial beings to establish concealed bases far from prying human eyes. The difficulty in accessing these areas means that any alien activity could remain undetected for centuries, if not longer. Interestingly, many of these mountain ranges are also hotspots for magnetic anomalies and unexplained electromagnetic activity. Instruments go haywire, compasses spin out of control, and electronic devices malfunction without apparent reason. Could these anomalies be indicative of extraterrestrial technology at work, subtly interfering with our own? Now let's shift our focus to the icy expanse of Antarctica, a continent shrouded in mystery and extreme conditions. With temperatures plummeting to as low as minus 90 degrees Celsius and winds that can reach up to 200 miles per hour, Antarctica is undoubtedly one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Yet it is these very conditions that might make it an appealing hideout for extraterrestrial beings. The vast ice sheets and glaciers of Antarctica conceal what lies beneath, and recent discoveries have revealed lakes and even mountain ranges hidden under miles of ice. This hidden world, untouched by humans, provides a blank canvas for potential alien activity. The sheer isolation of Antarctica, combined with the extreme conditions, ensures that any bases or technology hidden beneath the ice would remain well protected and concealed. Moreover, there have been numerous reports and conspiracy theories surrounding UFO sightings and mysterious phenomena in Antarctica. Some have even suggested that the continent is home to ancient alien bases, buried beneath the ice for thousands of years. While there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, the allure of Antarctica's icy desolation makes it a compelling candidate for extraterrestrial activity. Intriguingly, Antarctica is also a place of scientific anomalies, with researchers recording unexplained changes in gravity, bizarre weather patterns, and mysterious sounds emanating from the ice. These phenomena have puzzled scientists for years, and have led some to speculate about potential alien involvement. So, as we ponder the question of where extraterrestrial beings could be hiding on our planet, we find that from the seclusion of the mountains to the frozen fortress of Antarctica, our world is filled with enigmatic landscapes that could potentially harbor alien life. These remote and inaccessible places challenge us to look beyond the obvious and consider the possibilities of what might be hiding just out of sight. And as always, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching. For